Hello you guys, welcome back. This is Sierra and I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm going to try to edit this as much as I can. But as you guys can see right now, I am outside and that is because I am at the Pusa Summer Festival. During the summer festival season, every part of Tokyo has their own little festival and it just kind of celebrates the summer and the season's changing. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's really loud, but there is all kinds of music and food vendors and lots of different stalls and things to look at and things to see. So let's go take a look at it. You get? I got, I don't know what you call them, chuck I got some sweet or salty potatoes. I am not sure if they're sweet or salty, but it's unidentified white substance. I'm going to go with sugar because usually salt in Japan isn't this big. It doesn't like sea salt, so I'm going to give it a try. Oh. So? With sugar. It's so good. It's mochi on a stick, but it's called dango, and I got it in the miso sweet flavor. Are you chasing the AirPod? Yeah, it is. It's right here, but I can't share where it's coming from. It's pretty hot. I should figure out what's coming Hey guys, it's us again, and we just got done at the festival, and it was hot. I don't know if you guys can see beautiful water droplets on my forehead, but it's about 97 degrees outside, and the humidity makes it feel like 100 degrees, so it feels pretty hot. Although it was hotter last year, but I did make a video about that last year. Anyways, um, we are now at Coco's Curry, and we're going to get some dinner because the festival, even though it has some vegan options, it's not enough for like a full meal, if that makes sense. I had the dango and the sweet potatoes, and I was gonna get some long fries, but I just didn't really want them, so yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna get some curry, and I don't want to When I became an adult, I never thought that there would be a time in my life where I couldn't afford watermelon. It's me again checking in for the last time so as you guys can see I'm not quite as sweaty anymore because I'm not in the air con but my hair was so straight and pretty earlier and now it's like 
twice as fluffy as it was and kind of wavy, but that's okay. The show can go on. Anyways, um, we just got back and I need to unpack my groceries that you guys saw me shopping for. I didn't get that much stuff. I mean, I got like $18 worth of stuff, but it didn't feel like it was that much, but produce is really expensive in Japan. But I haven't ever done like a Japanese supermarket haul video for you guys. I'm gonna do like a mini haul really quickly right now. So excited to get some mochi. They're a little squished because they were in the bottom of the bag. Got a tomato. Uh, originally, I wasn't just gonna get this tomato, but then I saw these tomatoes were a lot cheaper than that one, even though they're in plastic. But then I forgot to put this tomato back, so now I have a lot of tomatoes. Oops. I also got some bananas. Usually these ones I think are like 100 yen, but I got them on 57 yen because they're on offer. I got two packages of those. The other one. Then I got half of a daikon radish, and I got a whole bunch of bell peppers. I think I got like six of them. Got two, four, six bell peppers. They were only, I think, 97 yen, so you can't beat 97 yen or like less than a dollar for a bell pepper, especially in Japan because produce is so expensive here. And then I got some cucumbers because I have a lot of lettuce already, but I want to make a salad for a potluck I'm hosting at my house on Sunday. So cucumbers. And actually I think these are only like 90 yen. Yeah. 97 yen. Um, because they came from like the farm in most Japanese supermarkets, there's like a little like farm section. And so they're 97 yen. And then I got some soy milk. Um, it's just an unflavored soy milk. I like to use it in baking sometimes and sometimes in my coffee. It just kind of depends. And then the last and final item that I got is this item. And I think it's actually, I didn't realize it has alcohol in it, but it does. It's like a, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a fizzy flavored water. I would taste test it for you, but I'm not supposed to do that on camera because that can get demonetized. Anyways, you guys, I don't really have anything else to say right now. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button so you get a notification every single time I make a video about my crazy life in Japan, lush being vegan or zero waste, and other stuff that I make videos about sometimes. And then I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Oh, that's awful. Nope.